Hi YouTube, this is Pokemon Showcase, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to both store and protect your Pokemon cards. So say you get a really nice card out of a booster pack. So right here I have my Full Art Reshiram EX, which I pulled from booster pack a couple of weeks ago. And you want to you wanna keep it in really good condition, um, and preserve it as long as possible. So what, you, what you're going to need is you're going to, basic, basically, you're going to want card sleeves and top loaders. Now card sleeves show you. They look like this. Clear plastic um, foot, like containers and they have a little slit in which opens up and you put your cards in. I'll just show you how to do that now. So that can basically protect your cards from any fingerprints and any damage that you can um, cause by touching it. Now you can buy a uh, hundred card sleeves I bought um, for £1.49 from eBay. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And they, they come in a little pack but I've just opened up loads like this. Now if you want to go one step further in protecting your Pokemon cards, um, you should be using top loaders. Now top loaders, they are a full uh, plastic container. They've also got a hole in uh, where you can put put your Pokemon cards. I'll just show you how to do that now. Now, these not only protect your Pokemon cards from fingerprints and any damage that you can cause by touching it, but they also stop dust and other things um, from entering through the top. It's sealed quite nicely, and it just really protects your Pokemon cards. Um, now, with storing your Pokemon cards, you're going to want um, to... You can store them, that's what I'm doing at the moment, I'm storing some of mine in uh, this tin here. It's probably not the best way of doing it. Um, but I'm storing some of the, the non holo cards in here. Um, see there, I've got my Gyarados and some other um, Pokemon cards in there. Um, I don't have one of these at the moment, but you, you could use uh, folders. Um, there are two types. You could just use a normal ring binder folder, like this. See here, and you can actually buy um, A4 sheets um, containing card sleeves to store your Pokemon cards in. Now they cost a hundred of them, cost fifteen quid, so it's quite expensive. Or you could you could get an Ultra Pro card binder for fifteen quid on its own. So you might you. Um, be much better off getting that. Um, but when you put the uh, the cards into your um, binder, you don't want to keep them the top loader. You want to keep them like this, and you never want to store them flat like this. You always want to store them on their side, so the cards, um, the weight of the cards in the binder, do not um, damage um, the, the the other cards. So you see there, I'm just keeping some of my rare cards in this set of the top loaders. Um, see here, just show you some of my rare cards. Typhlosion, Zekrom, Basset Gyarados, my Hollow Sandiles, Luxray, Gothitelle, Hollow Drodigan, and just some other nice cards. Um, storing them like this, um, it, does, it does protect them uh, really well. Uh, they're not going to get damaged. And if you're looking to um, maybe sell some of the cards that you get now, wait wait until they're more valuable later. Um, I really suggest storing them like this um, to keep them in mint condition. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you found it informative, please be sure to give it a like. And you can also check out my channel for other videos such as pack openings.